33 is still in the lead. As far as I know. This guy's way out on the boards. Raging bulls tacking over this way. I can out. Oh, is that Diane? Maybe that's Diane way out there. Can't tell. Nope. Coming right at us. Looking good!
duck dying. She's the one that goes out there. Look at that. Woohoo! So race number three and Diane Butler is on Raging Bull. legal <laughs> I still don't got the names down and Pat and Pride it's like Raging Bull and number 23 are right together Looks to me like number 33 is in the lead. Thirty-three is in the lead. Legal weapon. Woo! Looking good. Oh, the ladies are down in the cockpit. I guess that's the best place when you're going downwind. Hat and pride. Raging Bull. Oh, that boat's going to make it all bumpy here. These guys are close. Patton Pride is 23, Raging Bull is 21.
number 33, third race, number 33 is in the lead. Number 21 is now in second place. Raging Bull. That was a concorn if you heard it. I don't know if that's when they get to a certain point. Definitely a sunset thing, but we're not near sunset today. And here comes, I believe, number 23, Patton Pride. Yes. So legal weapon is in front. Oh, this is, must be the last. They already took their sail down. I do know Raging Bull came in and first in the First race, I'm not sure if they were first or second in the second race. And um, in the third race, they're second. They go past high tide. Into the wind and to take down the sail. What a fun day of racing! Bahamas racing! Bahamas sloop racing. And number three, third boat, Patton Pride coming in. This was a closer race than any of them. So the conch horn blowing is for who's came in first, second, and third. That was the ending of the race.
quite a few cruisers and locals at the high tide watching the races from there. We'll find out later who the overall winner is.